Yeah. Okay, I want to touch on something that um you said earlier, and and, and you kind of tiptoed into it, but I want to bring it to light. Um, after I sat with you, I sat with Chingy, and Chingy was was and and I and I guess he's speaking his truth. And I, he was he was talking about what you alluded to in terms of of um, your brother's chain getting snatched, and you said what I thought was 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 a fair overview of it. I and I told Chingy that in real time. I'm like, yo, you know, it's not like Murph said anything with malicious intent or or anything with with malice or badness in his heart. When, when, when you saw his commentary, was you caught off guard or are you just at a point like this uh, is just part of the us. game? No, no. He said he came to us about it when the first in the, in the, in the, when my interview dropped. Oh, he, he came offline. Yeah, he asked about it. He didn't come to me, but he asked about it like Ali or somebody. <clears throat> but no, nah, he just he just I mean, when you hear your name in an interview, bro. You gonna get on defense from the jump, you know what I'm saying? So I understand it. I understand where he's coming from. I understand how he said one false truth can change my life. So I'm, I gotta confront it. I understand where you're going with that in life. That's dope. But the thing is, you didn't hear my interview. I've never in life said y'all was trying to be like us. Why would I say that? I said the whole world was dressing like us. You had no choice. The same box that you brought. That was brought the vocal box. I said y'all was in the box. I said it was. I said all the clothes was getting brought to them so they was gonna wear them regardless you know what i'm saying so it, it just was like he was trying to confront stuff that was said but in actuality what was said wasn't said i didn't even i didn't even go there i would never knock what you're doing i never said you lived with ali i didn't say that i said y'all was over there doing the studio that's what it was you was there i didn't even bring that up you know what i'm saying but just a lot of stuff that he brought up i just literally know that he didn't really hear what i was saying he just heard his name and was like, let me check, that ain't the real story. You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't, the stories that I didn't know, I said, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really know. All I do know is that were my people and the people who took it, I, he can know them. That don't mean that was the part of that, what was going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, they ain't never been on your bus. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He wasn't with you. It was just somebody in the neighborhood, regardless of what's going on. But I don't know, man. A lot of people could be mad at you for anything you say. So I don't really, I really don't don't care about that part of it. I just want you to know that I, he, he know this, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't care as much as people think to be, you know what I'm saying? Saying false anything. I, I, I really don't give a damn. When I don't know, I don't know. I say, I don't know. I say, this is my perspective, but I don't know. You got to ask people who really was part of it. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, I was young outside looking in and I was focused on, on women and money and, and getting my life together. I didn't care about nothing else. You know, um, he, he, even when I sat with him, because uh, he hit me offline, uh, mm -hmm. you know, before we did the interview, and I made it clear then, like, yo, I, I'm, I sat with him, so so I know when an interviewer, somebody like myself, is trying to bait somebody. Mm -hmm. I also know when when the interviewee is trying to say something with malice. Or they're trying to say something to, to take a jab or a poke or hurt somebody. And mm -hmm. I told them neither one was done. It, it was questions asked, which you have to ask because, because it's factual. Um, but I'm like, yo, I, I, I sat with Murph. And I didn't get anything that, that would remotely say he was trying to bend the truth or give a half truth. Actually, he went so far as to say some of the stuff I don't know because I wasn't there. But I also, the more I sat with Chingy, I understood why it was so important, well, why it is so important for him to set anything straight right out the gate. Um, because he he was a victim of somebody who put out a vicious lie on him and it hurt his career. It hurt him. So mm -hmm. so I understood, but it, this was one of them cases, and 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 I think that um even with his with his response. He said it from a place of I'm really just trying to to yeah. set the straight. I'm not trying right. to hurt nobody. I don't have no beef with Murph. I, I'm just trying to say this is what the real truth from he my think, perspective yeah, is. I just want he he did he did, and that's what I you know I you know that's why I'm cool with all the shits, man. I feel 
this is where it's at. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, it's, that's where life is at. Life ain't call a person to see what's really going on. Life is go set it straight wherever it is. If it happened on Vlad, I need to go on Vlad and tell everybody it didn't happen like this or whatever. And I'm cool with that, man. It ain't, it ain't nothing, nothing, period. You know what I'm saying? But I hope he, like, actually listened to what I was saying. You know what I'm saying? And then also, he got to realize, too, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I'm talking through you to him. People don't care, man. They ain't worried about what we was talking about, man. Like, <laughs> you you made that a big deal in your life. That ain't, man, it, and it probably ain't a big deal. I ain't mean it like that, but nobody care about the, what, I, what Mur, Lil Murph said. I didn't say nothing wrong or false. Nobody really cared, but like I said, when your name get brought up in something, you know what I'm saying? I, I felt it when you asked the question. I was like, oh shit, we finna get into the to somebody else talking about other people. Out I click, you know what I'm saying? And when it get and when your name get called, you hear what you hear. You know what I'm saying? Like, so if you hear, uh, I'm telling them how people felt, like how how PR works. Not how, not how you work, Ching. You you gonna wear what everybody wear. You know what I'm saying? Do rags in the 90s. No, stop. Nobody ever matched they do rag with their outfit ever on earth and put headbands around them like we did that. And what people be realize need to realize we did that. It wasn't even a St. Louis thing. This was a lunatic thing. You feel what I'm saying? Lunatic brought this in. Everybody done it on earth. All of that. I, I, I don't want to get into the many trendsetters we did, but we did that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all was wearing, everybody was wearing black and white, white t shirts, black and white period we was the bright what we doing mixing up we did that so everybody it became a trend a sign a dreads became a trend it didn't become a um it wasn't no because everybody else was doing in the earth you know what i'm saying no never that you know what i'm saying matter of fact if we artists don't do what nobody everybody else doing earth we gotta be different you feel what i'm yeah. saying like so think like that like if we talking let's change our thoughts like well why would you want to wear that like everybody else want? because mm -hmm. <laughs> i would as an artist i'm not gonna do that you know what i'm saying like i'm gonna be murph and that's what we supposed to do period man so i don't want to get into that all that but yeah man we should just listen to each other and i definitely understand why he got on defense about it you know what i'm saying so i don't knock him at all that's brother he broke for life man i don't care about none of that stuff i, I have no feelings in none of that stuff you know i care about all of us as artists and i think that to advance we got to do more do more um shutting up. That's all. I'm gonna shut up more, you know, because it started with me. And it start well, it started with him because he brought the he answered the question on his first interview that made you even bring it up to me. You know what I'm saying? Because we was involved in it. But we just need to shut up more. Then don't talk about it at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause it's still it's definitely more story, more truth in it than both of us talking about. It's deeper than that. You on a video set, you doing stuff, you don't know what happened behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? You can't do nothing but go off what people tell you. So it's more to all of that, you know? So I don't, I don't, if I don't know, I'm going to shut up. And that's why I'm learning myself. So that was a learning experience for old Murph. Shut the fuck up if it's not about Murph or, or what's mine and my people's, you know what I'm saying? What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.